everybody that's great it's time to get another bts vlog started this is a bts vlog for the weekend so uh let's get it started and we will start with a time and date stamp it is seven hours and 31 minutes into the day of saturday march 8th 2014 and because we're going to be reviewing a bit of what we did last night, because so it's going to qualify as uh, being the vlog from March 7th to March 10th. Oh, if you notice, we're doing more stuff on the electronics bench. We're, we've taken, uh, uh, we took another trip over uh, yesterday to the electronics bench to show you what's going on. There is a system being refurbished on the front, on the front, uh, on the electronics bench. It is not. A new system. It's an old system. That's it. I use old systems. I don't use new systems. So I will leave that discussion for uh, electronics bench to get you something more in depth to talk about. Something more to talk about. Uh, I mentioned uh, that uh, I'm working on uh, sort of it hasn't come up just yet to the public eye. Uh, it, it has to a certain degree. Some parts have come up to the public eye, but they were down for a bit for, because I test, I, what I do is I test out individual pieces to see how they're going to work. And this is pieces of the Institute to see how they're going to work and, and how they should work. Then once that test works out properly, you take it down and then you, then you start to reintegrate it into the main research itself. Uh, so in other words, uh, projects initially start off on their own. And then as the project proves successful, in other words, you have an indication that uh, you can continue running with a project, you take it down or put it on hold for a bit until you can reintegrate it into the work that you start doing on a standard basis. And that's kind of what's happening here is that uh, there, uh, I've worked on for the last oh, 15, 20 years all these different pieces of the Institute. And now what I have to do is I have to take all these different pieces that I worked on individually and start bringing them in and integrating them into the daily work schedule that, uh, that I have. And that takes a bit of doing because there's a lot there to do. There's a lot of uh, integration is not simple. Integration takes uh, a good couple months or so before the integration finally takes and, and is actually working. Uh, and I think you see how we try things they fail, we try again, they fail, we try again, <laughs> you know. But every time we try something, if you know, if, if you've been watching the videos, if you're watching the series, you'll see that there is improvement. It's not that, that we, we fail and that nothing succeeds. There is success there, there is progress. And for me, even if there's a little bit of progress, that's enough success to continue moving forward, to, to not quit. And this is sort of the way it works when you're on the electronics bench. Anything that you're trying to do that's new, that's rather difficult, you're going to have to expect failure first. And your success comes from the perseverance through the failures. So and then this, this actually, this applies to anything. People often ask, why didn't I achieve my dreams? Why can't I be what I want to be? And because a lot of people are in jobs that daily don't, really don't want to be in. They're there because they have to be there. And that's it. They're there and they're kind of a fixture of the wall. Oh, excuse me. But they don't really want to be there. And they say, well, why, do you want, why, is, it, why is it this? And, that's what, and the answer is, and the reason is, because they gave up. If you cannot pers uh, persevere through failure, if you cannot succeed through failure, and this is what happens with most people, 
then you're not going to get what you want. Failure is the major part of what you're doing here. Uh, and you have to succeed through it. And this is why, you know, you know, again and again and again, and you say, you know, people, why don't you cut that out? Why don't you cut, you know, because I want people, I want people to see the raw stuff. If you want to see the drama, the real drama, the real drama is taking on a task that is huge, failing at it, and then bit by bit, slowly, as the months proceed, you succeed through it. I mean, uh, the, the, the unfortunate part is most people consider, you know, this type of drama. Uh, they view it for the movie, st movie style. And the movie style is... Oh, anytime there's long, boring stuff work that has to be done that really that allows you to succeed, and there's failure after failure, they montage that out. So if you ever look at a scene that's montage, that's, that's, they've, got the, they've got the dramatic music behind it, and they've got all scenes flying through month after month, year after year, and they do it within a span of, like, you know, less than 15 minutes... Okay, yeah. That's the montage. But the thing is, in reality, you can't montage that stuff out. You have to go through it. And it is days, weeks, months, years. And unless you, you know, you're willing to sort of sort of watch it, you don't have to watch it all the way through. Just pick up bits and pieces, watch bits at a time, and, you know, uh... I have a, I have my TV I can see from my kitchen, my, the kitchen diner, so I can have uh, shows on uh, that I'm watching. And I'm not interested in 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 hundred of them. Not always there at the front of the TV like this. So I'm have the TV on, and I'm doing other stuff while I'm watching TV. It's multitasking. If you're in a job like this, you have to learn how to multitask. Most women say they know how to multitask, so well, that's part of their nature. So, <laughs> and the thing is, is that. You know, reality TV should be this, but more often than not, it's scripted, and most people now know that it's scripted, it's, it, it, that there's a script behind there, and that it's not real. So if you want reality TV, this is it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I'm going to get the day started. We'll see what happens over the weekend. We'll be along over the weekend as well. We'll see how that works out. Uh, Things are picking up. The channel is growing. That's a good thing. That the channel is growing. And again, it's, it's, it's not massive success. It's success bits at a time. You know, one or two extra. I get maybe three or four extra follows a week. Maybe one uh, subscription every uh, other week, right? So every two weeks I get a subscription. Right now I'm still hovering around the 115 mark in terms of subscriber. Uh, my fall is around the same thing there. It's, 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 it, it, you know, but you know, things are are progressing. Not the way if I were a cute little girl, you know, if I were a cute teenager or something like that, my rate, my uh, subscription rate would be a lot higher. But uh, I'm not that. <laughs> my rating is appropriate for being a geek, you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it. I will see you in the next segment and. Uh, Hey, have a good weekend. Kind of chugging through uh, my chore list, the list, list of things I have to do. Uh, but it isn't easy. <laughs> that's, the way you, that's the way it usually goes. So anyways, uh... This is the afternoon vlog. I'll give you the time and date stamp. It is 14 hours and 50, 14 hours and 57 minutes into the day of Saturday, March 2nd, 2014. This isn't a uh, end of the day vlog, but it is a midday vlog because uh, at the end of the day, I'm not probably, uh, I'm more than likely not going to be here because I'm planning to go to church tomorrow, and that means I have to go, have to, go to my, go to my parents' house and stay over and. All that type of fun. So, uh, and I probably won't uh, vlog there at the, at night, silly because uh, if everyone's sleeping, I don't want to vlog while everyone is sleeping. So, but uh, I've gone, I've been chugging through all the di different lists of chore, list, list of stuff I have to do. Basically, on Saturdays, what happens on Saturday is I go over the stuff that I plan to do 
over the week, and you know every day, every time during every day, I have a list of the stuff that I wanted to get done, and basically you do everything you have to do. The priorities are done, and whatever's not done because other things pop in, uh, get done on Saturday uh, and over the weekend. So. That's what's happening now. Is I'm sort of checking, uh, checking through the tour, uh, the tour, checking through the, uh, ticking through the chores and everything. Uh, uh, checking them off, and uh, bit by bit we'll get everything done. And one thing that's been working on is in the back here. We'll go over to the electronics bench. Let's take a little ride over to the electronics, the electronics bench here. Now we can do this because it's not working properly. So let's see here. On the electronics bench, this system on the left is more or less set up. That's going to be running the electronics bench. This is a system that's been on the test bench now for about a week. Uh, it came in on uh, Monday, Tuesday, and we've been going through uh, uh, basically all the different uh, possible setups for it. One of the problems that I have with the system, this is, isn't the system that I pulled off the uh, network. I'll show you that next week because this is going back on Monday. This is going to the uh, the, so the front room. Uh, I should say the, the, not really the front room, but uh, it's going to a, uh, become a web server. And what has to happen is you have to sort of test out all the systems on it and get all the bugs out of it. One of the problems was is that if uh, uh, within 48 hours of operating... Um, the system was shut down. It would just sort of freeze up and you'd have to reboot everything and start it all over again. Uh, the goal now is if I can get it running, you keep, get it, keep it running until uh, basically Monday and then I know everything's going to be all right. So that's the goal. One of the things I was sort of learning about with this is learning about doing root kits and, uh, and uh, system intrusion. That's basically your hackers. And it was a sort of uh, a, a contest between um, uh, the I think it's a CHK Rootkit. There's that one program in here. There's another one called uh, I think RH um, RH Rootkit. I gotta see okay, what it is. No, it's oh, it's RK, RK Hunter. That's it. RK Hunter. RK hundred is is the second rootkit uh, uh, sort of finder. It ch these two things check your systems over to see whether or not you actually actually have a rootkit in here that's causing the problem, causing the system to shut down. And um, one of the rootkit, uh, the C C H uh, the C H K rootkit uh, program. Actually, I found out, but I found out afterwards that it produces false positives. But anyways, what I ended up doing is I ended up uh, blowing away the entire system and reformatting the hard drive and then putting a brand new uh, right off the CD uh, version of Kubuntu. Uh, one of the problems that I ran into with this is um, that when you're running on older legacy pro pro programs, older, older, older legacy systems, that um, what ends up happening is that... Uh, when you run with the system enabled, uh, moving you back. When you when, when, what's it called desktop effects enabled. When the desktop effects are enabled, it causes the system to become unstable. As soon as you disable that feature, the system becomes stable again. So, uh, on older system, if you're trying to resurrect an older system, and you're having a hard time. And you can't figure out what, what it is, what's causing this, this the, you know, the fuzzy screens and stuff like that. It's the uh, desktop effects. Disable them. As soon as you disable the desktop effects on Linux, this is this is for in, uh, with either KDE, Unity, or GNOME. Disable the desktop effects. As soon as that's done, the uh, system stabilizes and there's no more issues. So uh, look for that. Uh, I will talk about about uh, more about root kits, about... Uh, the different things that are going around in terms of how to deal with uh, viruses and hacking on Linux. If you're a Linux operator, I'll be talking more about that as we as we get into this. Uh, these are just sort of the, just the general things that are going on uh, right now, and I'm I'm getting really really tired, and the battery is about to die. So I'm gonna say good night, uh, say goodbye for now, 
and I'll talk to you probably tomorrow. All right, for the third segment of BTS Vlogs. All right, bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. It's time for the next segment of the BTS Vlog. It's the, I believe, the third segment. We're on our third segment. So, things are going well. Uh, let me get the timer started. Here we go, the timer started. And let me give you the time and date stamp for uh, for today's vlog. It is five hours into the day of Sunday, March 9th, 2014. That's right. We're slowly getting things back in order again. So that's a good thing. And as the uh, bench project kind of clears up, in other, in other words, it's, it's on its way and now worked its way into the schedule, uh, I, I'm going to be bringing in another another project. Uh, so you'll see the work on the electronics bench on a regular basis because there's always going to be projects in there. So we will be moving over to electronics bench uh, uh, fairly often, almost every uh, episode, every uh BTS log, we will we'll be going to the electronics bench to do something on the electronics bench. Uh, but that means we now have another project to come in to, to come in in order to finish up the uh, the work on the kitchen diner and the work that needs to be done for uh, the um, the design studio to make to make the clothes for uh, Beauty and the Geek. And I will talk about this more in Beauty. I talk about this more in, the, in Beauty and the Geek about uh, designing clothes. Uh, there's a room that I'm converting into a closet design room, the, the sewing room. Uh, right now is the split, split between a closet and AV. There's a huge metal filing cabinet that has to be moved. So it's going to require a fair bit of work. Uh, but I'll have to get all that done. I have to finish the back warehouse machine shop. So uh, the next project that's coming on now that I'll be talking about is the uh, uh, warehouse machine shop. Once the machine warehouse machine shop is done, uh, I'll be able to process a lot more uh, freegan material, stuff that I get from the garbage, and uh, incorporate them into into project. You know, use these materials that I'm collecting in a more constructive manner to, to sort of fill the gaps and holes where I need extra things. Uh, I can use the uh, freegan materials uh, to do that. And this is extra wood. This is uh, uh, paints that I, I pick up. Uh, if I pick up uh, slightly like old motors, old you know, old uh, uh, tools, see what can be refurbished, what can be repaired, you know, and what stuff, what what bits and pieces I can pull out of it that can be reused again. And I think you don't know what's good, you don't know what's bad until you sort of get it on the bench and start tearing it apart and seeing, okay, this works, that doesn't work, uh, you know, it's just kind of you know fiddling around with it to sort of understand its inner mechanisms and how the inner mechanism that, that is in there, if it's working or not, can be used to a to another benefit. In other words, you're trying to benefit from uh, something that someone threw out. Maybe you, and it was intended for one purpose, but maybe you can find another purpose for it. And that's the whole part of, of, of Freegan, is that you're going to the garbage and you're looking for something that was thrown out that was considered by a person not good or, or uh, broken or unwanted because they got something new. You're taking it in and either using the whole thing as because you can find a purpose for the whole thing or taking it apart and looking at the part, what parts can you use. So if this is the whole purpose of freeganism. The freeganism is this sort of... Uh, it's a recycling lifestyle. A lot of people now are starting, people are starting to call upcycling, where you take something and repurpose it again. But this is kind of how we operate here. We operate here on a freegan basis. We do this on on on, on as our standard. Uh, you're going to see this in the kitchen diner. The kitchen diner does need more freegan materials. That's kind of what's slowing things up right now, and that's why half the work on the machine shop. Machine shop will produce and process a lot of the freegan materials. That will be used in the um, kitchen diner, uh, you know, in our construction projects. So, uh, but that's going to be that is it. It's going to be a project. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to happen over a couple of weeks. 
Um, but I should have the machine shop in working order, if I can work well enough on it, I should have it in working order by the end of the week. So the, pro the goal for this week is to get the machine shop in some degree of functional manner, you know, in some degree of, bring it to some degree of functionality, so it's actually operating. Right now it's not operating because there's too much clutter in there. Uh, so it's not processing anything, the stuff that's piled up, everything has to be processed uh, and organized. So the what I'm gonna do now is I have to go back there within a week and get things to a point where the machine shop is functional and we're processing, uh, we're actually processing uh, materials. So that's the goal for the week. The other goal for the week is uh, to finish up the work on the electronics bench, that's the, the system. What has to go on to it next is bind. Bind is the DNS system and then uh, after the one bind is on there and working, uh, bring it over to the uh, to the room that's right here to the this room, room right here to the left of me behind the wall. Uh, it's going to go there and be hooked up to the internet and act as a DNS server. So that's the product that has to be done for this week as well. So uh, we took all last week to get it, to get it, to get everything working properly. I'll, uh, you know, up till now to work things properly. We're going to wait till Monday to see how things work out in terms of its stability. So far, things are all right. Um, I'm happy with that, but uh, we'll see. We'll see when Monday comes around uh, what we're looking at in terms of the, uh, finishing up the project on the electronic that's currently there. And then once that's done, uh, I have two more projects that will come on to the electronics bench. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I'll be going to church in about two hours, and I will see you after church. Maybe. Yeah, I'll talk to you a little bit after church. We'll see how I feel. We'll see what happens. Uh, maybe it'll be from the electronics bench. Who knows? All right. Take it easy. Well, good morning, everybody. Yep. It is time for the last segment of this BTS vlog. We are more or less on schedule with things. So, uh, that's a good sign. Um... Uh, so it looks like we're going to start the weekend, not uh, the, the week off, with uh, the project that, that I said we're going to start off with. So let me give you the time and date stamp. It is seven hours and twenty-three minutes into the day of Monday, March tenth, two thousand fourteen, and this segment concludes the uh, the uh, uh, the weekend uh, vlog. The BTS log, it goes from Friday to Monday. And anyway, it's there about, it's not exactly, it's not all of Friday, it's not all of Monday, because there's going to be another vlog today, later on during the day. It really depends on how much content there is, uh, as to how much content that's in here. Because <laughs> right, basically, we have to I decide I'm going to do a half hour format, and it's, it's however, much, however, however long it takes, it, however long it takes to fill up the half hour format. So... Uh, anyway, so what's on schedule for today? Uh, I'm going to take you into the warehouse machine shop, show you around a little bit, show you how what, what state it's in now, and then uh, I'm going to start cleaning. But I also have work to do on the editing bay, I have work to do on Beauty and the Geek. Uh, I've completely revamped Beauty and the Geek since, we've, since, I, uh, since we were on such a long break in terms of... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, not being able to get the work done because of issues on the editing bay, I decided to go back in and just completely re, uh, reformat things uh, and see how I can improve it. And that's the whole goal here. The whole goal of season zero is 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 really to improve yourself. You know, it, 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 and if sometimes you have to sort of postpone a posting the video because you want to go back and improve upon things, then that's what you do. That's kind of the way it goes. And so, uh, that's sort of where we are with Beauty and the Geek. Uh, I'm almost done the uh, production note rewrites. This is a lot more detailed than it was before. Uh, I've also done the same thing with the InstaVlog uh, production notes. They're a lot more detailed than they were before. So, uh, I think I can get a better job done with these new rewrites uh, than I've done before. And 
that being said, because we're doing the work on on the bench now with the, with the Ubuntu and Linux, it gives more content for the uh, Ubuntu BSD Ubuntu BSD Unix Italic shell. So that could become you know. I said there's always issues that to be worked on. You know, there are always issues to be worked on, and primarily the issues are uh, content ones. You know, do you have enough content? Uh, to put into the video, and then once the, once you ha once you realize you do have enough content, and you've laid out the content, you're gonna sort of figure out how you want to present the content, because uh, presentation is also important as well. So, but th these are things that all have to be worked on, and again, this is the whole purpose of Cyborg Alpha TV is that you're seeing behind the scenes. I mean, we, Physics TV isn't around yet because. Uh, Physics TV is information. What you're seeing right now on Cyborg Alpha TV is the formation of Physics TV. Once enough content is created, and you're seeing the entire creative process back back here, you're seeing all the different, different bits and pieces. Though. You're seeing the failures. You're seeing the successes. You're seeing the delays. You're seeing all the different aspects of it that go into uh, production to producing a TV channel and different TV shows. Uh, this is a well, eventually be, once everything's into season one, uh, then you'll start seeing physics TV and you'll see the Paul view. And you'll be able to look back on Cyborg Alpha TV and see the uh, unfinished stuff. In other words, you'll have the finished product and then you'll have the unfinished product. You'll have the raw uh, basis of it. So you'll have both things to look forward to uh, when physics TV does come out. Uh, looks like it, it's not, we won't be getting into any type of physics TV production in terms of really. Produce, producing for physics TV until September October. That's where our time frame now. So, so we're looking at September October 2014 is when we're looking at maybe launching uh, physics TV. Physics TV will not be. Uh, we'll have. It will, I think I, I'm, I'm debating whether to do video on demand first, or just leave all the video on demand on uh, Cyborg Alpha TV and. But no, I think what I'll do is, is that the development is going to be on Cyborg Alpha TV. Uh, leave that all there. And then Video On Demand will start off on Physics TV for Season 1. And then once there's enough Video On Demand content on there, uh, maybe schedule or see if I can work on it. Get maybe February 2015 uh, for Physics TV Live. Aim for that, time, that type of time frame. But we'll have to sort of see how it works out. I'm gonna have to see what type of technology is out there, uh, what different me me what different methods are available, and so these are all the th things that are gonna sort of determine uh, what the time frame is gonna be in terms of uh, uh, you know, how fast things move. So sometimes things can be slow, sometimes can things can be fast. It really depends on what pops up and what problems pop up, you know, what issues pop up. So. Anyways, it's uh, time to get the day started. I will uh, see you in a few hours to begin the next BTS vlog. And I think it's right now it's going to be for Monday anyway, but the, if we have enough content to put in, it's just going to be for Monday, Tuesday. Uh, and then uh, we'll see what we have after that. Anyways, I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye-bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.